My name is Paul Williamson and I'm here in Kilmarnock in Scotland today to do a half hour regression session with Elizabeth. I have been practicing as a past life regression therapist for the past 28 years and I do my work between the UK and Australia. So this session is really just to demonstrate in a very simple session the process of past life regression uh, through a half hour session with Elizabeth. She has worked with me on one other occasion and she's been chosen not because she's a great subject but just because she's someone that volunteered to do this today and hopefully we'll have a session that will be interesting for all of you that are watching. Thank you. So Elizabeth, you're come to work with me on one other occasion. How was that regression session for you? It was very interesting um, because I didn't know what to expect. But it was very peaceful and I feel I learned a lot from it. Uh -huh. and, and what about the actual process of the regression? How did you get on with that? You mean going, going on down the beginning? Yes. And it was all very simple and Again, relaxing and peaceful. As I said, I didn't know what to expect, so it was just very natural. Good. Very natural process. And, and how did you perceive the actual past life when you went through it? After the event? Yes. Um, I felt that it had answered my original question before we started the session. And a lot of what I experienced in the session made sense in this life too. Good. So you're here today and it's uh, three months since you had that initial session. Do you have any wishes about what you would like to experience today? Today I would like to experience or to find out or get a clue as to why I always only feel at peace when I'm outside. Uh, indoors I feel kind of caged and my mood goes down but the moment I step out the door I feel elated and free again and I would just like to know why that is. Alright, well let's ask your consciousness then if it may assist you to go to the source of that particular um, state of being that you experience and see if we can help you with that. Thank you. Are you ready to start? Yes I am. Alright, well let's do it. So are you ready to step through that open door now and into the memory of that past life? Good. So if you could maybe just take three steps forward through that door, so you're entering right into that past life, tell me when you've done that. Okay, good. So just notice with the awareness of where you are, would you be in a building perhaps somewhere or are you more out in the open? It's dark. It's dark, okay. So just breathe in the awareness of this dark. That's right. And just notice there the ground under your feet. So what is it that you would be standing on? Would it be stone, wood, earth, sand? It's, it's earth. It's earth. Okay, good. So you're standing on that earth there. And would it be hard earth or is it quite soft? It's hard. All right, excellent. So as you're standing on that hard earth, just notice a little bit more about what's around you, the setting of where you are. Just describe that to me. It's very cold. It's very cold, yes. And damp. Okay, so it's cold and damp. You're standing on this hard earth. That's right. And what would you have on your feet there? I've got boots on. You've got boots on. Good. And notice, what other clothes would you be wearing there? 
Would you have something loose or tight fitting? What would it be like? Breeches. Like breeches you've got on. Okay, good. So you've got these boots and breeches. Any other clothing? Just a shirt. Just a shirt. Excellent. So would you be male or female there? Male. You're male. Okay. And are you an adult or child? Adult. All right, that's really good. So as this man there with your breeches and shirt and boots that you're wearing, is there anyone else that's there with you or are you on your own? All right, good. So just focus on this person that's there with you. That's right. So would that be a man, woman or child? Mm. All right. So tell me a bit about him. He's pretty young. Yes. And he's sitting on the floor. And he's sitting on the floor. Okay, good. So just start to sense your relationship with him now. There's none. There's none. So he's just more someone sharing this space with you, is that right? Yes. And let me just explore that with you. So it's quite a, a dark and cold and damp space where you are. That's right. So do you feel enclosed by that? You are? Yes. Yes. And are there any windows or yes. it's just dark? So if I could sort of just perhaps be presumptuous for a moment, does it seem like it might be some kind of prison or something like that? Yes. It does. Okay. So, how do you feel being there? Just angry, sad, scared. You're angry, sad, and scared. Okay. And does it seem like you would have been in this place? For some considerable time, or have you just come here? Just got here. You've just got here. You're with this other older man. So, are you able to move around in this room or not? Yes. You are able to move around. It's just that it's very dark and cold and damp, and you're sort of held in there. Is that right? A manacle around my foot. There is, is there? Yeah. So if you just focus on this manacle around your foot, tell me a bit more about that. Heavy. It's heavy. And rusty. And it's rusty, yes. And how does that sort of impact on you? That's right, just breathe with the emotions now. Just breathe with the emotions. Breathe through your mouth if you can. That's right. That's right. So what can you tell me about that now? It just feels hopeless. It just feels hopeless, yes. So just breathe into that feeling of hopelessness. That's right. And you've got this manacle around your foot. That's right. Around your ankle, is it? It's around your ankle. And it just feels hopeless. Okay. So just continue to breathe with the emotions of that. That's right. And as I notice your body shaking there, I just want to ask you then, so do you feel afraid as you're there? Yes. You are afraid as well. Okay, so just keep breathing with this. That's right. And just find, as we explore this more and more, that you can very easily 
move between different times and moments in this lifetime as we explore this more and more. That's right. So what are you experiencing there now? I wish I didn't have to stay there. You don't have to stay there? Okay. So what's happening so you don't have to stay there? Okay, and what is he saying to you? He's telling me to lie. Mm -hmm. So he's telling you to lie. And what would be the purpose for you to lie? To be free. So you can be free. Okay, so is that what you do then? So you lie down. So is he lying down no, too? he's not lying down, he's telling me. I see, okay. So it's actually the way to be free is to tell lies. Okay. So do you know the reason that you've been placed in this prison? So, is it true that you've stolen something? Yes. Okay, so what is it that you stole? Food. You stole food? Yes. All I right. do it again. And you do it again? Did you steal this food for yourself or for others? Family. For your family? Okay. Do you love your family? So, for what reason did you steal food for them? Because they were hungry. They were hungry. Alright, they were hungry and sick. And you wanted to help them, is that correct? I couldn't watch. You couldn't watch? I do nothing. Okay. Alright, so you couldn't watch and do nothing. That's right. So just to, just go to that memory now where you're where you're stealing this food. That's right. So where are you now? I'm in a bed. Uh huh. Do you have a gun? You have a gun. Okay. And what are you doing with this gun? Alright, so you're actually hunting with this gun, is that correct? Okay, and how is it that you're stealing if you're doing this? It's not my land. Okay, so you're in land where I guess you shouldn't be to, to find food for your family, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So just going forward now, that's right, it's just the moment when, when you are arrested or apprehended. So tell me how this happens. There's dogs. There are dogs. What do the dogs do? They pull me down. They pull you down. And are you still in the woods at this time or somewhere else? I'm in the woods. You're in the woods. And what happens there? It's just they shoot me. Mm -hmm. And horses. And horses, yes. And how do you feel when this happens to you? I'm angry. You're angry, yes. Mm. Yes. Just tell me a little bit more about your thoughts and feelings there at this moment. There's plenty of food for everyone. And those that have, keep it to themselves. Uh-huh. Okay. So there seems in some ways to be a kind of injustice for you there, is that right? Yes. Okay. So 
But just going forward now, so you've been in that prison cell now for a while. That's right. So we'll just go forward perhaps to the next important moment or development of what happens for you there. That's right. So you're in that cell now. Tell me about that. He's gone. What, what has happened to him? They just took him away. They took him away, yes. And what about you? I'm doomed. You're doomed? So you feel that you're doomed there now? Yes. All right. Have you still got that manacle around your ankle? And are you receiving food or water or things that you need? A bit. Just a bit? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask you now, unless there's anything else very important that happens, just to go forward now. And it's just the moments before you die. That's right. So I want you to notice, are you standing, sitting or lying? I'm standing. All right. So just be aware of the situation and setting where you are. And please tell me about that. I'm in the bed. Sure. You're on show. Okay, so are there people watching you? All right. That's right. Just breathe with the emotion of this. That's right. And what is it that's about to happen to you? They're going to hang you. They're going to hang you. Just breathe with that now. That's it, that's it. Just breathe with that. That's right. And just going forward now to your last moments there. That's right, where they hang you. That's right, right up to your last breath. That's right, so it's your last breath where you leave that body. That's right. That's it. That's it. Just going through that now where you leave that body. That body dies. That's right. That's it. And I want you to sense now. Are you next to the body or above the body? Next to the body. All right. Good. And what does it feel like for you to be out of that body? Breathe through your mouth. That's, that's good, that's good. So what does it feel like for you to be out of that body? feels peaceful. Excellent. So just breathe in that peace. That's good. And what do you notice now about the body you've just left and what's going on around? didn't want them there, no, no. That's right. Just breathe with the emotion of that. That's right. If you could, what would you communicate with them there? That I love 
just do that. All right, okay. So you feel that you'll always be with them. Or is that more that you always want to be with them? You ju it's like a knowing, is that right? right? I want them to feel that I'll always be there. You want them to feel that you'll always be there. Good, so just breathe that in. That's right. And do they, are they aware of you? communicating that or not? Do they seem to be aware of that or not? My wife does. Your wife does, good. So she senses you. Good, that's excellent. So just breathe that in. That's right, that she's there. That she senses you. That you'll always be with. That's right. Just breathing that in now. You're doing, you're doing really well. Okay. And is there anything else about the scene that's important for you? My eldest son is really crying. Yes. Yes. So he's really angry. That's right. Is there anything you can do about that? No. There isn't, is there? Alright, so just breathe in. That's right, this is a situation. And what is it that you notice about your body there? So it's a load of rags on a rock. And of course, you're not in that body anymore, are you? No. All right. So we're going to move on, and it's just a little while later when your soul now starts to return home. So just experience that now. Your soul returning home. That's excellent. That's good. And just tell me what it's like as you do that. I'm happy. You're happy. Good. What do you experience there now? It's like that the sea. So you can breathe in lots of beautiful colours and uh, I guess energies as well, is that right? Good, so just breathing that in now. Perhaps just allowing that also to heal you. So you can feel like you're putting all of that trauma of that life. So there are things about it that are affecting you. Tell me about that. I just feel for my family. Yes, yes, you feel for them. That's right. Is it hard for you to leave them? It's hard to forget. It's just hard to forget, yes. Okay. So just breathing that in, just acknowledging the emotions that you feel about that. That's right. So what are you deciding about those souls and your family there as you struggle with this? My son look after me. Okay. So you've got you've got a sense now that he will do the looking after now that you've gone. Just breathe that in now. 
that's right. And as you return home now into the spirit world, there might be even other souls there to meet you. That's right. And if there are, just becoming aware of them. Lots of wee children, beautiful. And what is it like to meet them? It's good. It's good? That's right. Do they love you? Yeah. They do. <laughs> do they accept you? Yeah, they're all really interested. <laughs> good. And do you feel you can be yourself there? Lovely. So just being aware with these, I guess, spirit children and how good it is for you to be with them. That's right. Just notice your, kind of like your soul relationship with your children. Mm. All right, it's like you're their father. That's beautiful. So just taking that in now. That's right, feel yourself as the father, all these wonderful spirit children. That's right. Now I'm going to just suggest that we go a little bit later now. It's a little bit later. And just, it may be an occasion now when one or more of those souls that were your family in that life, and they've also passed over to spirit and you're meeting with them. That's right. Tell me about that. It took so long. Uh huh. You've waited so long, yes. So what's it like? Who who's there by the way? My wife. Your wife, okay, good. And what's it like to meet her? Brilliant. So just taking that in. You just feel somehow like the eternal nature of that love that you share together. It's really beautiful. Just breathe with that now. Just open your heart and breathe with that love and feel how good that is. How healing how easy it is now for you to put all the trauma of that life behind you so you can feel peace and healing to help you. That's right. Does that feel better now? Good. And I guess if I speak to Elizabeth, it's easy to understand through that experience how somehow being in a prison there was something which could easily make you feel like you want to be outside. So just taking that awareness as well. So very shortly we're going to end this session so just find yourself going to a place of peace and a place of light and love. That's right, where we can complete this now. That's right. And where you'll be able from that to return to your present day self as Elizabeth, feeling peaceful and good and in, invigorated even to live your life from now on here in a really good way. So how does that feel for you? <laughs> you like it there, huh? Yeah, it's, it's good. Alright, good. So just know 
as you with her in whatever form you can feel the eternal nature of your love, don't you? That's right. So in in one form or another, just as you've been with her, she'll be with you. That's right. Can you appreciate that? So now, if you just very slowly and gradually start to return to your normal consciousness here, in this room, your body is Elizabeth. That's right. So just slowly returning to your normal consciousness, you can remember everything you've experienced, let it nourish you, so it can very gracefully work through your system giving you more awareness of your soul, who you truly are. That's right. So only when you're ready now, just start to feel yourself in your body here in this room. That's right. Feeling your feet on the floor. Feeling yourself sitting on this chair with me. You can move your body a little bit. And I tap you on the knee. Just feeling that also grounding you here into this physical life again. Your body here as Elizabeth. That's right, just coming more and more back now into this room. And then only when you're ready, you can just bring your full awareness into this room with me. That's right. And with this filming that's going on, just maybe even being aware of that in a very good way. And then you can open your eyes. take a few moments to adjust. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Well, we'll turn the cameras off now. So thank you so much for doing that. Thank you. <laughs>